Imagine playing Roblox, and then you suddenly realize there's nothing left to play. Well, that is not an issue anymore, because today I'm going to show you 29 most underrated games in Roblox that I guarantee you have never seen before. Probably. These 29 most underrated games will include horrors, simulators, shooters, puzzles, fighting games, survival games, and much, much more. Let's find out just how good these games are. Starting up with adventure games. You know Minecraft, right? Well, this game is a one-to-one -one recreation of its beta version, with the original textures and many mechanics that are taken directly from Minecraft, be it placing or breaking blocks to random generation of the world. An even better game to try is the Lebanese, a game where you must go through an infinite number of liminal spaces, all while unlocking various secrets and items like not vision goggles. Okay, but what if I do not have any friends? It is completely fine because I have a very good game to play alone. And the name of this game is Prototype. In this game, you are accompanied by a narrator, and your goal is to either listen to his words and do the actions he asks to do, or you may defy him and obtain free will. But this next game is even more interesting, Industrialist, a game that is so intricate that I can't even describe it. It is a very well-made simulator of a factor, with its own mining rigs, electricity generators, and much, much more to go through. But what if I'm something really fun. Of course, because I have a game just for you. The name of it is Roblox Wear, a fast-paced game which is essentially just a collection of minigames with the goal of getting the most points at each round. While it's also going to be fun, however, is the next game called Average Player Gayam. Game? Yeah, that. Wait, who the hell is that? In this hell of a mess, you must survive random disasters that occur every once in a while. You can get killed by a zombie or a tornado or something else. It is really that random. You talked about all of these games, but what if I want some puzzles? You were actually right. Let's talk about a game called Iceball, a game that recently got popular, but I still consider it under it. In this game, you are given a limited number of tools to build a path for the ball to go through. You must not let it break, fall, or get damaged, and the real challenge here comes from the my body level structures. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, but what if I want to play with Yo, my friends? Great question, since I have a fun game to play with your buddies. Wait, who the f*** is that? The name of this SCP Anomaly Breach 2. It is a recreation of the famous game using its assets. Here, you must escape the facility while playing as numerous roles, be it a Class D, a normal prisoner, or a special task force operative, sent to the facility to contain all SCPs. Next, we have an amazing puzzle game called Tunneler. An extremely well-made recreation of the Portal game series, where you must go through numerous puzzle rooms with the usage of blue and orange portals while solving multiple types of puzzles. Also, hey, you! Yes, you! Do you want to be in the video? I guess... Great, then I have a thing just for you! See, I'm just so happy to have my Discord server, Vibers, where I frequently talk with my fans, post sneak peeks to new videos, and blah 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 you get. That sounds awesome, but why should I care? Well, one of these next giveaways we're going to be hosting is going to have a prize for your Roblox avatar to appear in the video. Okay, so now let's talk about something else, like fighting games! First in line, we have Madness Combat, Tucker. This game is heavily inspired by the action game play of Ultra Kill, where you have to blaze your way through the enemies if you don't want to die. This game is very good for those who want something action, but if you want something slower, then I have a game called Fighting, a game that even after all of its exposure on YouTube, still somehow doesn't have players. Because it's better, the community is toxic. Here you can see two teams fighting each other to death with multiple classes that have unique abilities. However, if you want something more strategic and slow-paced, then we have the Battle Break. Here you must defend your base with units you can summon for a certain amount of cash, and you also must be smart enough to not forget about attacking units, as you also have to destroy your opponent. Next, however, we have a very active game that will make you sweat, and it's called Ragdoll Universe, a game about fighting other players with weapons you pick around the map. The main feature, however, is that you're a ragdoll, so it is actually quite hard to control yourself. Okay, but what if I want to fight someone with my friends? Well, first, you have to get friends, and for that, you gotta get some better clothing, which is just perfect as I have a thing just for you. You select the template, then click this, change your clothing to whatever you want with various accessories and textures, and boom, you have your clothing. Wait, what the hell just happened? That's how easy it is to use custom use. In custom use, you are getting access to thousands of clothing templates and accessories to put on your own avatar, and you can also upload your own stuff so you can make your merch to sell on Roblox. Wait, so I can make clothing this easily? Precisely. Do I need to pay though? Of course not. Main features of custom use are entirely free, although many of them are also locked behind a pro subscription. If you want to upload your own picture or some text on your clothing, custom use has you covered, but that's not even all. You can also draw on your avatar. Overall, custom use is a great service to start a clothing Roblox group or to make some clothing for yourself. And even I made several designs with custom use, somehow. Okay, now that I have friends, what fighting game could I play with them? That is a great question because I have a game called Combat Initiation, a game that was praised by many, although now it is quite dead. This game offers a multitude of tools and gameplay styles to choose from. You have to survive waves of unique enemies with bosses at the end of each stage. It is very fun to play with your friends. What is also very fun to play, even if you are alone, is that a game called Neighborhood War you make. An extremely violent game, and I'm not even sure how it passed Roblox moderation, but hey, in this game you must arm yourself with a variety of weapons and assign yourself to a gang, and then kill everyone. But if you want something easier than them, play some Undead Coming, Armageddon. It's not exactly peaceful, but much more casual with its simple gameplay idea. Shoot the zombies and earn money to buy better guns. Get
game has a very cool retro aesthetic to it with a nice addition of having a lot of guns and maps to play on. Okay, but what about survival games though? Great question, because the next in line we have Isle. Your main goal is simple, escape the island after you're crashing a ship, although it may not be as easy as it sounds. There is a monster chasing you down every night, and mercenaries who were sent in to kill you. They are very dangerous, so better keep an eye out. And you also better keep an eye out for the next game. And the name of it is Decloid's Chaos, or Healing, a tower defense game, but it is very unusual as you are the one defending the so-called core. You can buy multiple classes in this game and also call allies if you need some help, but your main goal is always the same. Protect the core until wave 24. Now we're finished with fighting games, so let's talk about some horrors. One of the best backrooms games on this list is World's Edge, a horror game about going through many different backrooms levels, with each level having a monster to avoid or a difficult puzzle to solve. However, we also have a very scary game to play alone, and the name of it is Memory, a linear story horror game that is incredibly well made. In this game, you have to uncover a dark story behind your character while also hunting for multiple monsters that may or may not be around. The next game is even better. The name of it is Replica County Archives 2. In this game, you follow a story of a police officer doing his routine checks when an extremely stressful call comes in, and you rush to the scene. Upon coming for rescue, however, you see that everything went wrong. What also went wrong, however, is the development of this next game that is a recreation of Five Nights at Freddy's because they cooked a lot. In this game, you take a role of a night guard doing normal FNAF stuff, but you can also walk around the restaurant, run from the animatronics, and complete objectives around the map. The name of it is FNAF, time in the past. Okay, but not everybody has a computer, right? You're absolutely right, and I have a game just for that. The name of this game is Everything Goes Here, 1989. In this horror piece of art, you must go through a story of a man driven by insanity, and upon reaching its peak, he commits a horrible action. Next, however, we have a very spooky but also simple game, Caro Creatura, a game about surviving an attack of a monster in the woods, all while waiting for a help to arrive. Your only defense is your flashlight, and you have to use it very carefully in order not to die. Although, we're entering the territory of best games in this entire list, so buckle up, because the next game we have is all these basics and special nope, things. stop the video, why the hell would I play that? In this game, you must collect seven notebooks all around the map while being chased down by Baldi and multiple other characters. Next, we have an easier game called Life of an Oracle. It's a game about a person trying to fix up their parents' house after they pass away. This game has a deep story and a lot of interactive items, so it's best if I don't talk about them. What else has a lot of interactive items is Brownie, a ghost hunting game where you have to prevent the summoning of a brownie, a monster who is the only threat in the game. You have to wander around the house looking for unusual items, and when you spot them, take a photo of them. The next game, however, is a very good social game called Blockstown Mystery, a game where you get assigned to one of many roles, and during the day, everything is fine, but at night, someone may intrude your health. Or you may be an intruder. Now though, we are approaching our final three games, and those are, in my opinion, one of the best downloaded games on Roblox. Aren't you excited for this? No, you said Block Force is bad in one previous week. The third best game I have for you is Nightwatch, an extremely intricate game about finding anomalies throughout the house, but this time you play with cameras. As a guardian angel of this family, you have to prevent anything from harming them. The next underrated game is the Project Remix, a genuinely smooth and clean fighting game with dozens of weapons to choose from, and two abilities, and even an ultimate attack that you must charge. You will not live long in this game, unfortunately, as it is a constant cycle of dying and killing others, but it is still exceptionally fun. And finally, we have come to the best underrated game on Roblox, and the name of it is Fire From Land, an amazingly well-made horror game inspired by the FNAF series, where you must survive up to seven nights or voyages, with each one having a new monster or threat at it. This game has an unbelievable amount of depth to it, and also some of the best graphics I've ever seen in a horror game. It is, in my opinion, one of, if not the best underrated game on Roblox. But if you're gonna say but that- it's purely subjective! This can be the best game ever! Shut the f up! <laughs>